Okay, uh, Susie came out to pick some pears from this little tree and she dropped her buckets. You can see that they were dropped because as she stepped toward the tree, she heard a rattlesnake. It's interesting how difficult it is to see this snake. Why don't you come in and film it, Susie? I can't see. Oh. Okay, I'm going to get closer. Zoom out a bit. I can't, it's so bright I can't really see the screen, I'm, but I'm sure I'm on it. Okay, I've got a snake stick and stuff. Oh, so stay back, honey. Okay, here. I've got a snake stick in a barrel. So. You ready, Susie? Yeah, no. The reason this snake is here, I think, is because the pears that have fallen on the ground are attracting mice and rats. Uh, uh stay back. Oh, so stay back. Uh-uh, uh-uh, you stay in there. Okay, you want to come film her where you can see her? Not really. <laughs> Here you okay, just a, here. Okay. There she is in the barrel. The last one I put in a barrel got away, but this is a much smaller snake. And I said she, but this is a male, judging from its tail. A thinner tail than a female has. It's got a little bit of a bulge in it, so it's eaten something recently. And I will haul it off this evening up into one of our pastures so that it doesn't stay up close to the house. In this r area, rattlesnakes have small home ranges, two to three acres, because there's plenty of food. Uh, I was corresponding with somebody out in Arizona who was shocked at how small the uh, home ranges were, but that's because uh, in Arizona they have to have a much larger home range in order to find enough food. Here, there's rats and mice and stuff everywhere. Uh, so I'll haul him off far enough so he won't come back and find his way back. He's just going to stay in this barrel for a little bit. Okay, good snake keeping. You ready to turn that off? 